Higher in Santa Fe Springs, detectives are investigating several crime scenes, including Pico Rivera, where it's believed all this started with a carjacking. Street Headlines' Christy Pajardo is live in Santa Fe Springs. Christy. Yeah, Peter, the shooting spree encompasses so many jurisdictions and there are so many crime scenes. People are very tense in the area, but at this point, the Sheriff's Department just doesn't have any answers. And this scene here underscores the problem. Witnesses tell us a room at the back of this budget in here in Santa Fe Springs was shot up at around 7 o'clock, but they report seeing three men fleeing the scene. This is important because in the earlier shootings, deputies were looking for a man and a woman, so it's not clear if there's a connection. And to add to the confusion, take a look at this. In the overpass above us, another shooting took place at around 8 o'clock. Police were called to Carmenita Road at the 5 Freeway. Firefighters tell us they transported one gunshot victim. We asked the CHP on the scene if this was connected to the shooting spree. And they answered, we don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Much of what happened today has been in sheriff's territory, and deputies say the suspects started their crime wave when they carjacked what is believed to be this green SUV in Pico Rivera. That was at around 2 this afternoon. Then this evening, the SUV was found abandoned at Amelia Mulberry Park in Santa Fe Springs. In between that time, deputies say a man and a woman carried out a series of five different shootings in multiple locations. At least four people were shot. One of them, a man, died in La Mirada. As Santa Gertrudis and Alicante, witnesses say they saw two cars with windows shot out and the paramedics trying to save the victim. He was in the middle of the street. Yeah, the, they said that he, he was, had his family in the car with him. Um, they had him in the middle of the street. We could see the family off to the side. They were all crying. I was in the kitchen cooking dinner and I heard pop, pop, pop. And then I heard pop, 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 pop. And then I heard the uh, sirens of the police cars. And the Sheriff's Department is stretched so thin tonight. We actually saw Whittier police here in Santa Fe Springs helping to secure this scene. The Sheriff's Department has set up a command post, but information is slow in coming. We'll keep you posted. Back to you. All right, Christy, thank you. Firefighters could not save this Riverside house on Gaylord.